Hi YouTube, this is Matt McIntosh and this is going to be a video about using Shadowbox in ZBrush. So to start off with, I'm making a uh, cylinder. Uh, to work with that, I need to make it a Polymesh 3D. So under the Geometry tab, I'm going for where it says Shadowbox, which is just here. When I open that, I'm going to increase the resolution so that it gives a more defined object. And I'm going to turn the polish down so it doesn't have as round an edge when I create things. And when I click on the shadow box, um, it will create a series of planes around the object. If I drag out a control marquee with the masking tool, as you can see, it clears the mask, but then I can use the control key and just draw on the surface. Wherever it intersects with those planes that are in the background, you can see that it produces geometry. So that is really quick for actually coming up with some uh, very basic things uh, within ZBrush and you can turn those into um, any object you want. What I'm showing here though is the radial symmetry and at the moment I've just got eight pieces or eight uh, radial elements working. Now if I change it to the different axis which I just did then um, I can work in the uh, Z direction, which is what I'm wanting to do with this. And as you can see, each time I make a mark because of the radial symmetry, it allows me to get smoother edges. So I've increased this one up to quite a considerable amount. And as you can see, it's much smoother. So when I'm drawing those lines out or drawing those masks out, I've got more control over them. The higher the number, the smoother the effect. Okay, so as you can see, that's given quite a, a nice little patterned element. If I draw a marquee from the different angle, you can see that it creates a thinner version of it because it's, it's working on the thickness of that shadow box. Now, I'm gonna transform, I'll turn this transformation off in a second. Uh, I'm just gonna change it down to a different radial count draw in a couple of elements in the middle of the spokes to show that you can get quite defined uh, information by using this tool. Okay, so I think that's a good enough example. So I'm going to turn shadow box off. And what I plan to do with this now is append in a sphere. Okay, and I'm, I'm just going to turn the transparency off so I can see where it's located. And what I want to do now is just use the move tool. Uh, I better turn the radial symmetry off actually. I'm going to use the move tool to position it in front of the sphere. And then what I'm going to use is the match maker tool to actually suck this onto the surface of the objects underneath onto the sphere. So I've just pressed M on my keyboard to uh, narrow it down to brushes that begin with M and I want the matchmaker one and what all I'm going to do with this is just drag it out on the surface and as we can see just going to throw Z that um, as we can see if I turn the sphere off it has actually captured the shape of it so you could use that to create some sort of armor okay very quick intro uh, to that shadow box tool Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. 